taking a look at the new menu for Blue Pilot 2.1. It's now under Blue Pilot instead of Ford. A lot of the options here are pretty familiar. The hands-free UI for a Blue Cruise capable vehicle, lane departure signals and driver monitoring signals to the dashboard. Once again, if you have a Blue Cruise capable vehicle. Um, lateral controls, human turn detection, just like it's always been. Uh, this is to help keep uh, the car from trying to steer off the road if you make a human turn while MADS or Experimental is engaged. Lane change factor is back, so you can lower this number to try and get less aggressive lane changes. Now, if you get too low, the lane changes actually get worse because uh, the model is trying to compensate for you giving it so much less than it asked for. I found around 0.75 is a good middle ground. Uh, below that, we have Enable Advanced Lateral Control. What this does is this enables the Ford style logic where we use all four control variables, including path angle and path offset, to try and enhance the torque we have and get uh, tighter control. If you turn on Enhanced Lateral Control, you then have the ability to choose a tuning profile. There are three profiles, low, medium, and high, that are presets, and then there is the custom profile. Uh, low and medium are probably good for Q4 or KNFD vehicles like F-150, Mach-E, 2024 Escape. Uh, the medium and high are probably good for older vehicles, Escapes, Mavericks, uh, Edges, things like that, that use the Q3 and CAM protocol. If you choose custom, that then enables the rest of the menu. Actually, that's not entirely true. Enable legacy style lane full mode um, exists in the profile as low, medium, and high. Um, so you can choose the, to enable legacy style lane full mode, which is where it uses the lane lines to try and center instead of using the model's predicted path. And then, uh, the in-lane offset is also available if you've enabled advanced lateral control. That moves you left or right within the lane. Negative numbers left, positive numbers right. Um, and then if you've chosen the custom profile, you get these last three. Your predicted curvature blend ratio, uh, which sets the ratio of predicted curvature to desired curvature. The path angle amplitude, which can uh, dictates how strong the path angle signal is, and then path angle in curve reduction. Uh, the issue we have is that open pilot tends to exaggerate commands when you're in a curve, and so we, we kind of have to retard what we're asking for. So uh, what this would do is it would say that the gain on path angle is 2.25, but then in a really large curve, it would only send 20% of the calculated signal. That's what that's doing right there. So that's, uh, those are the new options in the new menu system. Uh, the README goes in depth about what all these do, how you could tune them if you wanted to tune them yourself, and tells you what the default values for all of these are for the different profiles.